Hi, uh, my name is Mark, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you a little bit about the story of my faith and how I grew in that. And so, start with I grew up in a, a loving home and a loving family where my parents they took us to church and they took us to church fairly regularly. But me personally, I just didn't care. I didn't I didn't want to be there. It was boring. I, I went through all the motions, and I thought that in order to be a Christian, all I had to do was be a good person and go to church and do the right things. But um, I I found out um, shortly after that that in order to be a Christian, um, you had to. There was more. There was more involved than just going to church. It's just like the saying, um, "Just because you stand in a garage doesn't make you a car." And so, yeah, through high school, I I um, I defined myself a lot on how I performed, how I performed athletically, how I performed um, in the classroom, how I was viewed by other people, and just. Um, yeah, I, I based a lot of my identity off that, and anyone anyone who knew me in high school could probably attest and and uh, and agree with me when I say I would get very angry after I lost in any sports related thing. I would get super angry. I would I would get so angry that I wouldn't talk to anybody who wanted to talk to me. I wouldn't want to be around anybody. I just wanted to be alone. And and yeah, I and I did that because I put so much of my identity in that that when it let me down, I was. I was destroyed and so so yeah shortly after that I went to college up here at UMD where I was fortunate enough to to uh, continue playing football and when I got here I was surrounded by just the people that I was, was surrounded by were people who enjoyed doing the same things I did but they were also solid Christians and naturally I became really good friends with them and I became closer to them but I noticed that they had something that I didn't they they had this relationship with this God that I really had no idea that that was possible. And so as I grew closer to those friends, I was able to um, to start going to this Bible study called Athletes in Action. It's kind of a, a small group Bible study for, for athletes, varsity athletes here on campus. And as I, as I kept going to that, I, I kept learning more about what it meant to, to have a relationship with God and, and what it meant that, and that it meant that in order to be a Christian, it wasn't based on how I performed, but because of what Jesus Christ did for me and for how he died for my sins and how he already won the won the battle. And so yeah, I kept I kept learning about that and the net the summer after my sophomore year up here I went to this this summer camp called um Ultimate Training Camp. And at this camp is this this camp, this one week long camp for varsity athletes all around the country that that they teach you these biblical principles of how you um, you integrate sport and faith and, and pretty much everything else in life. And what I learned there pretty much just blew my mind in that how I can't do anything on my own and I need to rely on Christ for everything. And, and that applies to everything in my life. I can't just put, put Christianity in this little box and push it aside. I can imply it into my whole life. And and yeah, I just learned so much at that camp, and I learned how what it meant to just surrender your life to Jesus and just to to put all your faith and trust in Christ. And and the freedom that I experienced after doing that, or after realizing that, was just it was just so liberating. And it just I just realized that it wasn't how well I performed, it wasn't how how much I did, how good I looked on the outside, but it's because of what Christ did for me. And there's nothing that I could do that could make him love me more or make him love me less is it's, it's already been done and um and yeah I just because I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior doesn't mean I'm perfect in any way I still screw up daily I'm still a sinner and and I still I'm still just as messed up as the next person but one thing that um one thing I that I still struggle with is doubt and just and just telling myself that there's things in my life that make me not a Christian or that I still screw up and that makes me less of a Christian. But one uh, one Bible verse that really sticks out to me that I really like is Philippians 1.16. And that says, and I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. And that just speaks so much to me because it, t it tells me that I don't have to have everything figured out right now. I don't have to have my life all perfect and I don't need to be this perfect Christian and and because it's because of God's grace that saved me it's not because of anything I did and so even though I still struggle I still 
struggle and sin. I still have um, junk in my life that it doesn't matter because Jesus Christ died for that and he died for everything that I've done and everything I will do. And um, because of that, I will have eternal glory in heaven with Jesus Christ and God. So yeah, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, just uh, hit me up.